Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 15th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service and also our online trades and courses. You're very welcome to join. The link is down below. So we're looking at the S&P 500 and as you can see, Friday or the end of the session on Friday was a very, very good day. We were up uh, roughly half a percent. We did break down and then rallied at the end of the session. So you can see we are in this channel here. We are getting very close to the top and have basically been waiting entire week for a breakdown at least towards the 20 exponential, which is right here at this lower channel. So that is roughly where we are going to enter this market. At this point, it is at 3,863 uh, or around 3,850. That was probably where we'll, we'll enter this market if it gets down to those levels. So at this point, the target here is 4,000. And the reason for that is based on this consolidation here, where we basically fell roughly 350 points, give or take, 362 points meaning that we could go all three, roughly 360 points to the upside, and that is roughly at 4,000 levels, so 3,944. That is where we will see uh, some kind of action. Probably if we break above this, then we get extremely overstretched and uh, overbought. So my take on this is that we'll pull back towards uh, the the bottom here of this channel and then rally to 4,000. So after 4,000, that is where I'll enter the, uh, leave this market or I'll leave it before then uh, because we could see a major break to the downside or we could break significantly above uh, the, the channel. So we can also look at the four different charts. So this is the 15, the 30 minutes and the one hour and the four hour chart. The four hour chart is a uh, basically what I look at when I see these pullbacks. You can see that when we have major pullbacks, we pull back towards the yellow line here, 200 moving average in the four hour chart. So we had two of those in September and in, in the, and, and basically in October. And then we have this fairly big pullback here, uh, which was in January, late January, or the beginning of January was right here, 16th of January, and we fell towards and roughly at 29th of January and then we rallied since then so I don't expect a pullback like this I do expect a pullback towards the 50 moving average was which is roughly here so a similar pullback like this one is what I'm looking for in order to target uh, 4,000 so if we look at technical indicators we can see that uh, we are getting to the top here of the Bollinger Band indicating that we may uh, pull back very quick well very soon we are well, 58 in the RSI, that is fairly low still, but still we may see a pullback due to the to the closeness of us to the top of the bullish band. MACD is bullish, uh, Stochastic is bullish, it turned around at the end of the session and now it's crossing the signal line to the upside. And at this point, the RSCCI is underneath 100 and it's kind of flat. So yes, we may see another day of a rally on Monday getting closer to the bullish band, getting the RSI a little bit higher, but that basically means that we'll drop roughly 150 points at some at one point, which gives us the opportunity to enter this market. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So as you can see, we are basically trading sideways here. We a lot of choppiness and uh, not a lot of movement on Friday. Nothing really happened here on Friday. Quite a lot of movement on Thursday and, and Wednesday, uh, but on Friday, we basically were still. So we're trading just above here at the 20 exponential moving average. We are trading at 31,458. Uh, 32,000 is kind of the target here. The pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, roughly at 31,000. That is a good entry point. Another good entry point is down here at 30,723. Uh, 30, and even better, if we drop below, if people start panicking by selling and we drop below similar to this, then it's even better. I don't think that we're going to see that. I think that we'll see something similar to this, a very sudden drop towards the uh, 40 exponential, 
and then a rally towards uh, 32,000, probably for 2,500. Technical indicators are basically flat or bullish at this point. MACD is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, RSI is flat, and the CCI is flat at this point. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So Nasdaq also rallied at the end of the session on Friday, where we were up roughly a half a percent. We were getting awfully close to the top of the Bullinger Band here. 14,000 and 15,000 is the, is the long-term target here. But I think that we are going to see a breakdown towards the 20 exponential, roughly 13,400, give or take, and then rally towards 14,000. Technical indicators are... Well, they are fairly bullish. RSI is flat, CCI is flat, stochastic is bullish, and the MACD is bullish at this point. So very similar to uh, the S&P 500, we are trading within this channel. We had this con um, conversation here um, of roughly, this was given a give or take, roughly, Roughly 400 points, give or take, no, roughly 1,000 points. So, sorry, roughly 1,000 points. And that basically means that from here to up there should also be additional uh, 1,000 points. So around uh, 14, 40,000, that is where we'll see um, quite a lot of action when we get to this level here. So we could rally up towards 40,000 at this point, 14,000 at this point. Uh, and then break down, I don't think that is going to uh, be the case. I think that we are getting fairly close to the top of the Bullinger Band, and therefore, I think that we are going to drop towards the 20 exponential at 13,400 or 500 before we go towards the 14,000. So that's an increase of roughly 4%. Long-term target, probably end of um, March, we are going to see... Um, Let's see uh, this top 15,000. That is probably where we are going. So for sorry, for next week, what I'm looking for is a pullback towards the, the middle of the bullish band here, roughly at the, at the, this um, lower trend line, and then a target of 14,000. To enter the market here, I would say it's fairly risky. You could get caught here because if it starts breaking down significantly, then you will just have money hanging here. Therefore, it's far better just to wait for these pullbacks and then start buying, similar to what happened here. Probably not as aggressive, but something similar to this. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.